3,700. Somebody with a calculator, what does that come out to be? Top left drawer. So what do you get? Huh? 3,700,000. Now, if I was to do this, let me show you something. Uh, uh, there is, if you understand that it's like meter, 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 this is what I, uh, the old way they teach, and probably your textbook does this. If they said 3.7 meters cubed, this is what they could, you could do this. You could say meters cubed, centimeters cubed. You can say 1 cubed and 100 cubed. Less writing to do. You're still doing the same thing, right? But this is um, how you do this. I keep getting email. There you go. So you get the idea? So that's a shorter method, and then the meter cubed cancels. So for our regular cam, we always just teach them the meter, meter, meter. And if you want to use that, just knock yourself out. But this will save you some paper and some writing if you think about it. Okay? And then let's do one more. A complex problem. Um, gold. Speaking of gold, gold has a density density of 19.2 grams per cubic centimeter. I want us to convert to pounds per gallon. So if I had a cubic centimeter of gold, which is a very small amount of gold, a cubic centimeter is like one milliliter, a tiny little cube about that big of gold, it would weigh 19.3 grams. But what if I had a gallon jug filled with gold? How much would it weigh? An interesting question, isn't it? So we could figure the answer out. It's just a conversion, though. We've got to convert grams to pounds, and we've got to cube convert cubic centimeters to gallons. So I would say 19.2 grams over one centimeter cubed. What do you want to do first, the mass or the volume? Mass. That's kind of easy. So what, what do I do? Grams to pounds. Now, you may not know these numbers. I have them in my head. I know that's sick. Okay. There's 454 grams in one pound, so the grams cancel. Now we need to convert cubic centimeters to gallons. Now you may not know these conversions, but I can go from centimeters cubed to milliliters, milliliters to liters, and liters to gallons. So it's going to take a, a several multi-step problem to do this. So I can say, now I got centimeters cubed here, what am I going to go on top? Centimeters cubed. One centimeter cubed is equal to, anyone know this one? This is kind of an important one to know. One milliliter. It is the definition, in fact, of a milliliter. It is a cubic centimeter. And then I can go from milliliters to liters, and there's a thousand milliliters in every liter. And the milliliters cancel. And then I can go from liters to gallons. So one gallon is equal to three point something liters. I'm going to say eight. I maybe I don't remember. I think it's three point seven nine or huh? It's something like that. I don't know. It's something like this. I don't recall the exact numbers. So we'll get estimates. This is where we'd want to look it up on a table, and I don't have it. Okay. So somebody with a calculator. I got a gallon of gold. How much does it weigh? Hundred and sixty pounds. I weigh about hundred and sixty pounds. So one gallon, think of a gallon jug, that would weigh the same amount as meat. Okay? So that gives you kind of a sense of how dense gold is, right? That's kinda of cool. Good? Is that ringing uh, some old bells for you?